What do you get when a ham turns an old ambulance into a full-blown mobile command center? Meet Liot, Whiskey Alpha 4 Charlie November Lima, the Aries Emergency Coordinator for Calhoun County, South Carolina, who gave me a personal tour of his incredible mobile ham shack. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay. First of all, this is the mobile ham shack. Uh, it started life as uh, an ambulance for Calhoun County back in 1993. The sheriff took it over, turned it into a mobile command unit, and then uh, last year they turned it over to me and I'm turning it into a mobile communication gym. Uh, I am fully operational now, battery power. Uh, just yesterday I got the mini split system working, but on the radio equipment, this sitting here is, um, is a Winlink VHF gateway. So if somebody wanted to connect to uh, or send a Winlink message over VHF, I could receive it and put it out over the internet right now. We could do that today. Being uh, involved in emergency communications, especially for Calhoun County and Orangeburg County, I have uh, these SDRs set up uh, for Palmetto 800, which is the, the state's uh, system. So I use it to receive their signals. I can, I can do other things with it, but here I primarily use it for Palmetto 800. This system is a UHF VHF uh, for ham radio, two meter. And there's an SDR, so I can use a, a pan adapter on it. And then further down here is, an, is my HF station. And it's an ICOM, the IC703. Uh, I have one computer system that I can control everything. But from here, I do HF. I can do uh, WinLink. I can do the digital modes, FTA, all, all the others. I can, I can do it all from here. Uh, on the outside, there is a, a pneumatic mask that when I raise it from the ground up, it's 55 feet. And I, I usually mount uh, my two meter antenna on top of it, and then I have an in-fed half wave that I mount to it as well. Uh, one of the things that I did to the mobile ham shack is I wanted to be able to run off a of battery, battery power. They already had it set up as most ambulances do to do shoreline power but I beefed that up from a 15 amp to a full 30 amp so I can run either shoreline 30 amp or generator. But today, I'm running totally off of battery power, including the air conditioner and everything. Everything's powered off of the battery. So I'm, you can see from out here, I have the Victron energy stuff. This is the display that shows me the power flow. It shows that I'm not connected to uh, any grid power. Um, and it's showing up right now. Uh, it's, I'm only running 46 watts of power which means the fan on the AC is running a little bit, but it, the compressor's not on. So I'm gonna open this door so you can see the inside. We start off with, uh, oh, hang on, let me, I'm not level. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So I'll start off with two 200 amp Power Queen batteries. Give me 400 amp of uh, amp hour of uh, power and hopefully it'll last a long time. Uh, today, I'll be kind of a good test, although it's not sunny and it's not hot, so I bet it'll last all, all day. But field day is gonna be the good test for it. Uh, then the battery goes into the smart, the Victron Smart Shot here. It also goes into uh, my power switch for the battery. That goes into two distribution boxes from the Victron. And then you have the Multi Plus 3000 120 volt, okay? So from it, I have uh, power coming uh, in from the shoreline. If, you know, if right today I'm not using it. This is the power going out. This is the one distribution box that's feeding power to the air conditioning unit and to the receptacles that, that's in here. And then of course I have the Serbo GX, which is hooked to the display for my monitor. Uh, then I'm, I'm, I have a network set up here, and I'm doing some work on it. I'm trying to get rid of uh, this AC power cord. And so I've mounted uh, the 12 volt distribution. I got the 12 volt adapter for the uh, uh, Ethernet, uh, power over Ethernet, and I'll have that. This is hooked to, you can't see it behind the panel here, but there's a, a Microtech uh, G52 which is hooked to an external Wi-Fi antenna. And that gives me access to any nearby uh, Wi-Fi networks. For emergency communications, the county will usually have what they call their cradle point set up. And I can tie into it. We'll actually be doing all that field day. Or I can use even my phone 
as internet access and the Microtech will pick it up and then I'll have full internet access in here. So um, that's, that's it for the power distribution. I love it. It's great. Uh, it, it, just, it just works. That's what I like about it. I'm enjoying it. I can, I, it'll be set up here in this park on field day and I'll be sleeping right here. Looks comfy, don't it? <laughs> but, but that's, that's where I'll be sleeping and I'll be, I'll, I'll be the uh, digital guy. I'll be doing mostly FTA communications, uh, for field day. So that's, that's really it. That's the, the nickel tour. <laughs>